Get the hell out of here, Castillo. Keith, look. Go away. You don't belong here. This thing has gone on long enough. Let's end it here and now. There's no sense of... Let's end it here and now. Or would it be too easy? She was all I had left, Castillo. I had a sister once, but... Thanks to you, I don't have her either. You remember her, Castillo? Five years to the day, you think I could forget that? I came to the cemetery the day you buried her, Keith. If you wanted to lay blame, you should have said something then. You know what stopped me? A woman that died here on this bed. She told me to let her lie, that Katie wouldn't like it if something came between us because of her. But I let it lie. Out of respect for my grandmother, I did what she asked, but she's not around anymore, so I don't have to do that anymore, do I? You hear what I'm saying to you, Castillo? Yes, I hear you. You're being called down to account today. And it's going to be ugly. And it's going to be sweet. Hey, baby. Hi. Captain. Ready for takeoff? Oh, I don't believe you. Coffee, tea, hemlock? You'd really like that, wouldn't you? I should just go out and end it all because I had the nerve to get involved with another woman before I even knew you. That seems only fair. <sighs> wouldn't you miss me? Well, we all have to go sometime. Besides, I wouldn't let you leave this earthly plane without a big send-off. What did you have in mind? Mm. So what's her name? Oh, she stops at nothing, folks. The following exits have been closed until I get an appropriate answer. You can wait oh. all day, baby, but you are officially grounded. I'm just curious. You can't blame me for that. I just want to know some things about your old girlfriend. Like what? Well, you know, how boring she was, how her teeth needed to be fixed. You know, the highlights. Uh, I don't remember anything about her teeth. Where did you go earlier? I went to see Keith Timmons. You went to go see him? It's appropriate when there's a death in someone's family, you ask if you can do anything. A sympathy call? There's something wrong with that? If he was a friend, no, but he isn't. Oh, I get it. I'm, I'm not going to be able to find out anything about this either, right? It's not important. You and I, we used to tell each other everything. Now, every time I ask you a question, I get some weird, mysterious answer. I just don't see any reason to dredge up the past when it has nothing to do with the present. In spite of our differences, Keith and I do go back a long ways, and uh, he's had a lot of problems. He doesn't have a lot of family. It seemed like the right thing to do. You know, sometimes I wonder if the trouble really started with Santana, or if it went far as high school, come maybe. Come on, come on. What was it? High school rivalries? Was it just girls or sports? Eden. What? More of your secret past? I'm not trying to keep secrets. Well, you are succeeding with one hand tied behind your back. I want to concentrate on the future. The future is you and me. That's all. The rest of it doesn't count. Everything that came before, it, it was like it was marking time, that's all. Hello. Hmm? Yes. Well, you just said C. Castillo in the phone book, but I figured it had to be you. I, I wasn't sure whether you were still in Santa Barbara. <laughs> Have I said enough for you to make a wild guess as to who this is? Tori. Oh, 
Oh, shoot. All those expensive hours with a voice coach, and I still sound the same. I'm supposed to be hopelessly theatrical by now. That's right. I uh, heard you had your own TV series or something. What, what brings you to town? Oh, yeah, it's a long story. Uh, could I buy you a cup of coffee and, and maybe bore you with it? Right now? Yeah, if you're not busy. I just got in, and I, and I took a chance on, on catching you. Uh, oh, look, you know, you probably have a million and one things to do. I, I really just wanted to call. No, no, I'm, I'm, gl I'm glad you called. I just, it was, I'm surprised. Uh, we could meet. Do, do you, uh, where are you staying? Right downtown. Well, you know, the Capitol Hotel, actually, that was probably built since you left. No, no, I know it. I've, I've kept up. Well, there's a restaurant on the top floor called the Orient Express. Uh, I can meet you there. Good. Um, say a half hour? That'd be fine. Yeah, bye. back momentarily I will uh, have a waiter sent over when I'm done oh <laughs> you don't take orders I see no not from you I'd like to know what you meant when you were warning me about Cruz well yeah, I thought that was a little self-explanatory I know you hate him I just want to know why maybe that's between me and Cruz see I have this theory yeah whatever it was it happened a long time ago a woman was involved. Someone came between the two of you. Well, that's fascinating. Go on. Whatever it was, it must have been pretty drastic for you to hold a grudge all this time. When no one's talking to me today. My sister died five years ago today. Did you know that? No. Sort of a sad anniversary for me. I'm sorry. Does that have anything to do with why you hate Cruz? Why don't you ask him? Maybe I will. See, so you found the place. Cruz. How have you been, Tori? I am so glad to see you. Oh, come on, sit down. I'm having ginger ale. Make it two. Coming right up. So, uh, what brings you to Santa Barbara? I thought you were in Hollywood making obscene amounts of money. <laughs> My series got canceled. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, don't be. You know, it was fun at first, and then it turned into a real rat race, and I was aching for a rest. Huh. There you go. Thanks, man. <clears throat> So that, that's what you're uh, in town to do? You're, you're here to rest? Oh, no, it's work, but it, it feels more like a vacation. Um, I'm, I'm touring with the play. Our last stop is Santa Barbara. Oh, yeah, what play? Bell, Book, and Candle. Is that the one about the witch? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, I'll have to drop by and uh, check it out. Oh, good, good. Um, it's, a, it's not a bad production. If you want a few laughs and all that, you know, I'll be happy to get you some tickets. Oh, So. So. When you uh, called, did you realize what day it was? I figured we'd be thinking about the same thing. It's not something you forget, is it? No, it's not. And unfortunately, it's not something that you can change. At least it was a long time ago. Well, tell me about yourself. What, what have you been up to? Uh, Career-wise? Well, yeah, I think that's a good place to start. I'm a cop. 
Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I bet you're a good one, too. Well, I don't know. You'd have to ask the commissioner about that. Well, I think the likelihood of my running into him is pretty slim, unless he's a theater buff. Well, there's got to be some more in your life, you know, than, than career. Is there somebody special? Yeah, there's somebody very special. I'm glad. How about you? Well, no, not not right now. There's nobody really special, but I must have I've been happier. And um, it's nice it's nice doing the play every night and getting back to to basics. You know, I really never got into any of that Hollywood stuff. I saw you on a talk show. <laughs> you really? Yeah, I forget which one. Um, I don't know, but I remember you thinking that you looked like you just found the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I guess that's why they call us actresses. Does that mean I shouldn't believe a word you say? You should believe how glad I am to see you. I must be keeping you. you I'm sure you've got dinner planned. Well, as a matter of well, fact... Well, no, it's no problem, really. I just wanted to touch base and say hi. <sighs> well, I'm, I'm glad you called. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, come on now. Put that away. I invited you. Sounds fair. Okay. Well, enjoy your stay. Uh, I'm glad you're back and all that. Well, thank you for coming here today. It's nice to see how little you've changed. You too. Liar. you'd be back here. Is that okay? Did you really say that? Well, I, I, I just mean if you're planning something. No, I, I was... Uh, well, maybe I was planning to take a walk on the beach or something. Alone? <laughs> maybe I, I didn't realize that there'd be anyone here, that's all. I'm sorry about all the nagging questions. Oh, come here. Sometimes I just... I guess I just don't know when to stop. It's okay. It'd be so much easier if I knew you all your life. You have known me all my life. At least the only part of it that counts. I love you so much, I just get greedy. I get greedy, too. I look at you sometimes and it's like I can't get enough. And I touch you and I can't get near you. Oh, You were asleep. Yeah. I was thinking I might take that walk on the beach after all. You want some company? Sure. If you don't, that's okay. And why would I want to be alone when I could be accompanied by the most beautiful woman in the city? Let's go. And let me put some clothes on first. Come on, don't take all the fun out of it. Calm out there. It was unusual. Yeah, it was almost spooky. Yeah. Is that why you were so quiet? I wasn't that quiet. Cruz, I wish you'd just tell me what's going on. I can't do this. I'm just not like this. It has nothing to do with you. Even if it has nothing to do with me. Even if there's nothing I can do. It's a combination of things, I guess. Life gets complicated sometimes and you... 
If I could explain it, I would. I just want to make you happy. You have, and we're going to be happy from now on. Hope so. Maybe I so. I love you. I love you too. More than you loved anyone? Way more. Even if she had wings? Even nobody's got anything on you. You could teach the whole world to fly all by yourself. I think I'm going to forget about the world. And I'm going to concentrate on you.